Hey, it's me, Badge Baden here for ZTV UK, of course, for BizAsialive.com and Like a Radio 1458. Very pleased to be on the sets of Gundli Bagia, which is the, one of ZTV's longest running shows. And not just that, but also one of the most loved shows as well. With me, as you can tell, is a beautiful lady sitting next to me, and that is Sana Sayed, who joins me here. Sana, first of all, welcome. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. I've got to say, you look absolutely stunning. <laughs> I always say that. I would love to thank my entourage for that. The makeup team, the hair team, the costume team. Oh. It's just their magic. No, no, no. Well done, well done. And can I just say, first of all, success of Kunli Bagia. Well done, because uh, after the Generation Leap, which was uh, early in the year, yeah. it has continued to pull in audiences, continues to attract new audiences as well. Yes, that's there. When I initially joined Kudli Bhagya, I was a little skeptical because Kudli Bhagya is already a hit show uh, because of Shraddha and uh, Dheeraj and uh, other two Karans. But uh, right now, after the leap, I wasn't very sure if the audience would welcome us or they would accept us the way they accepted them. Yeah. But... Um, it was really nice to see audience accepting us, <laughs> accepting our characters and giving us the same amount of love. Uh, so yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's a uh, good feeling. And, and you know the good thing about also, I mean, because I check the trends all the time. So seeing Palveer getting, yes. uh, you know, trending, it's to see that chemistry, obviously with you and Paras uh, and of course Rajveer, yes. is, is brilliant. So how does that make you feel that, you know, it's, it's like a completely new generation, but still getting the same love? I think I would give the credit to the writers and uh, the director and the lighting team. The way they shoot it, the way they write the scene. We're just playing a part and we're doing our jobs. We're just uh, saying what whatever is written on the script. Um, it's actually the magic of a writer, how they, how a writer wants a couple to be seen. So I think, obviously me and Paris have like a good chemistry. We are great friends. We keep passing jokes and we keep passing comments on each other, which makes, us, <laughs> makes it very uh, easy for both of yeah, us to yeah, enact yeah. a scene. Uh, that's a plus point. And other than that, I think I would really love to give the credit to the direction department, to the writers, and uh, the camera team. Yeah, and, and, and Basid as well, because obviously oh, yes. he's another important part of the show. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, tell us about your chemistry with Basid. My chemistry with Basir uh, is almost very natural. Uh, Basir is actually the first person who I vibed with on the set. Uh, now, when I say vibe, I mean to say we think on the same wavelength. Yeah. Uh, there are often times where there's, if there's anything funny happening around, me and Basir just look at each other mm -hmm. and we know <laughs> we're already thinking about the same thing, right? So um, that makes it very natural with Basir as well. Um, and I would love to give the credit to Basir as well, I mean, he puts a lot of effort uh, to make the scene look good. Yeah. A lot of people really like uh, our pair as well. Um, they're like, shalki, shalki, shalki. So that's also a nice thing. So, so the leap of Kunli Bhagya was supposed to be a triangle between me, Paris, and Basir. Yeah. And uh, now that the triangle is playing out and the audience is liking it I'm happy with it oh fantastic that's great to know um, I also want to ask you um, because obviously uh, we know that you you as a Sana um, you've done shows for other channels but this is is this your first show for ZTV I believe yes it is isn't it yes this yeah. is my first show for ZTV so how is it in terms of uh, a home new home for you for ZTV how has it been in terms of working with Balaji for this in fact, it's not just my first time working with ZTV, it's my first time working with Balaji as well. So both the experience is like great. Uh, I had never worked, I had never been associated with Z. So um, this being my first show, I'm happy with the platform they've given me. And uh, Balaji, I mean, no one needs to say how <laughs> great Balaji is. Yeah. And t t seriously, if you are in, uh, doing uh, Indian television shows, or if you are a part of Bollywood, you would know what Ekta Kapoor is. Yeah. She's such a big name and um, it makes you feel really proud and content. No, I'm like really content knowing that I'm working for one of the best production houses in India yeah. and it's a good thing. And an award winning one because uh, today we found out she got <laughs> an Emmy Award which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations, so congratulations. Ekta ma'am. Absolutely. I'm way so proud. Absolutely. Um, I do want to also ask you in terms of uh, you, you mentioned obviously you have so much fun on the set uh, uh, tell us the kind of musty you have I mean because it's such a massive right. set isn't it yeah, so yeah. you can all kind of hide into each other's corners and do all sorts 
<laughs> so we, what we're basically doing is um, if I'm doing my clothes, uh, generally Paras or Basir, they're standing on the corner wherever I'm looking at. They're just making stupid faces. Or if we've <laughs> shared a common joke, we're discussing, they're rediscussing the same thing and yeah. they're enacting the same thing. So it's funny. I mean, sometimes we do get shout, yelled at uh, by the director that y'all are not taking it too seriously. It's not a bloody classroom. <laughs> but then eventually even our director <laughs> laughs and it's like a laughter riot whenever yeah. three of us are together it's a laughter riot yeah. I said I can't help notice but you're wearing the same kind of green shade as Boris was earlier um, <laughs> is that a is that something happening in the scene today um, not really <laughs> that's not the scene but uh, our designer she it's her uh, con she, conscious habit she tries to like you know give matching color combinations so that we look better together interesting um i do also want to ask about your upcoming track what's going to be happening tell us give us a bit of a feeler for the fans that are watching so right now kunli bhagya has finally taken the triangle uh, i mean we've finally moved on to the angle where we see we get to see the triangle there's like chemistry between me paras me and paras are already um, we already like each other in the show and uh, basir's character has newly found interest in my character and uh, now that we are getting our roka done so roka is basically like fixing your marriage yeah. uh, in indian culture so right now we're playing the track we're going to play the track of roka where uh, you'll get to see who gets married to who Ooh. and who gets roka fight to who and we love and we love weddings don't we say anything to do with yeah. weddings on it's the small like screen it's roka with a lot of twists and turns Fantastic. Well, it can't be an Indian drama without any of these twists and turns, yeah, right? Of course. The biggest drama in Indian television is usually on the shadis. Yeah, absolutely. So there's going to be something dramatic that's about to happen, yes, yes, yes. which is great to know. Um, also, away from that, Sana, I do want to ask you, I mean, London, uh, what does London make you feel? How does it make you feel? Oh, my God. I have like at least 200 reels for travel to London saved uh, <laughs> in a collaboration with me and my husband and I keep adding those reels and I keep reminding him now I want to go to London so London is I think um, London is one place I really want to be I really want to visit and I want to visit for like a month or two yeah. so Ooh, I so that I live it up <laughs> yeah I want to see I want to enjoy it I just don't want to go there for a week and then have a heartburn and come back yeah. Yeah. so London's beautiful and uh, I'm so glad that our show's doing great over yeah. there as well I mean I did want to ask you I mean when it comes to London I mean you said you got all these reels saved what is it about London that gives you that is it the cold weather is it the sea the, the, the particular sightseeing what is it the architecture it's the lighting I think Christmas is best celebrated yeah. in London I have to give it to London and uh, I want to see the Disneyland yeah. I want to see the Buckingham Palace <laughs> so there are a lot of things and you know uh, we've grown up watching movies uh, which are generally based in London, Switzerland, USA. Mm, yeah. USA I've seen, I have to see Swiss, but I want to see London first. Uh, it's so good to know because I know that there's a lot of promoters that might be watching right now. Ah. So if there's any events that are happening, we need to call Sana. There. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> that would be but lovely. I'm not, I'm not sure whether Balaji will give you two I months off. Take, I would take <laughs> no cost. I mean, it's free of cost. You just get me to London. <laughs> oh, okay. If it's muff, then we don't mind doing that. <laughs> you mean? <know me. laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> but um, just, I mean, two months though. I mean, two months will be a long break from uh, Kundli. What would you do? Would you get uh, like a body double? Someone else coming in your... No, two months break, they would never. I mean, I recently visited USA and they gave me a break for 11 days. And I know how difficult it was to manage because um, we had literally saved, uh, we had pre-shot a lot of things and uh, it was being telecasted with time but the day I returned I literally had to come back straight from the airport to the set because there was like a lot of work piled up um, and I had like a lot on my plate so 10 days was so difficult I don't know if I'll say two months they'll probably throw me out of the show or get a new palki <laughs> so I'm not saying that but yes I do wish to visit London oh. and for a very long time I do also want to ask you um, generally away from when you're not shooting which is probably not much what do you like doing I honestly I'm not like a person who's very enthusiastic about going out or catching up no 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 I like to catch up with my friends and family uh 
I'm I recently got married so I really love to like spend time with my in-laws and I live in a joint family so I love to spend time with them only for a bit like over breakfast maybe and then go back to my room and just binge watch series that's like my absolute favorite part time you'll always find me on bed eating my chips eating my breakfast dinner lunch only on the bed I I might just get out of the bed We can never tell know. with the way you're looking having <laughs> chips and watching Netflix I don't think so <laughs> Thanks to the jeans <laughs> It's really uh, So what are you watching on Netflix what are you binge watching at the moment I recently watched Bodies on Netflix oh, yes. and yeah. Fall of the House of Usher yeah, Oh my yeah, god yeah. too good That's I am horror. like a big fan of thriller and Thrillism spooky horrors, series yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 that's great I just want to say thank you so much for your time Sana We waited a whole day just for you and I'm oh so glad god. finally because we saw you shooting outside for a little bit and we thought you know what <laughs> Uh, but it was just one of those moments that we couldn't get you because it's I know you the, were it's the heat stroke you it know is, yeah. I am like <laughs> I'm generally a tough person but uh, whenever we're doing an outdoor scene and I have time to myself I as I mentioned I love to sleep so because I had like five six hours break I was like listen you know what I'm removing my makeup I'm removing I'm removing my costume and I'm going <laughs> off to sleep and then they woke me up they're like you have an interview I was like yeah yeah five minutes five minutes and I snoozed back oh yeah so, I'm really sorry about no, that. No, <laughs> don't be silly. Uh, but just a final message for all the fans that are watching right now in London and worldwide. I just want to say, first of all, I would love to wish you all a very, uh, sorry, a Merry Christmas and um, a happy, prosperous New Year in advance. And um, I just want to say thank you so much for giving so much love to our show, for accepting our characters and loving them. And um, it's your love that has given six years to the show and I hope we give three more years, three, five more years in this show as well and then take a leap, probably. <laughs> so thank you so much and keep watching Kutli Bhagya. Love you guys. Oh, thank you so much, Sana, for your time today. I wish thank you all the you. best. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank, thank you. you.